What's going on? What's going on, man? Listen. The cooking video, man. Your boy been vegan for two weeks. I'm um, sorry for this. It's a long story. Your boy knows it's chat. But yeah, your boy went vegan two weeks ago. And I need to get y'all some content. I gotta get consistent somehow. Well, I'm about to show you this routine how I make vegan burgers out of beans. You know what I'm saying? Don't get it twisted. Still getting the protein. I'm gonna bring y'all on my world on how I do it. You might like to see this, and I'm not sure if you knew. Maybe you here due to the vegan, vegan lifestyle. Either way, make sure you hit that sub button. Thumbs up. We can get lit. Sorry if I'm looking at this. It's been a bit. Yes. Uh... Got my chickpeas. I'm about to boil these up. Always add a little pink Himalaya sea salt when I'm boiling anything. You know what I'm saying? Some onions. Make sure you have a bigger cut board than this. I'm about to take over now. And once again, welcome. Listen, recipe, real simple. You know, you got your onions, your peppers, your chop, chop. And I'm trying to tell you, cooking alkaline food is not that difficult. It's actually, to me, less preparation than really cooking meats and all the other stuff, all the other starches. You know what I'm saying? You see your boy on the knife, chefing it, chefing it. But all we doing is chopping up everything, put it all in one bowl, because it's all going to create a mixture, pretty much. You know, and then I'm going to cake everything together and form a hamburger. It's really that simple. You know what I'm saying? That's me sanitizing on the go. Got your crushed red peppers. You know, I like a little spice. Ground turmeric, medicinal uses, your oregano, your onion powder, all alkaline seasonings. You know, I don't really use adobo, sazon. I don't use sea, I mean, uh, what is it? Dang, what's that salt everybody use? I don't use that Morton salt, that or season salt. I don't use none of that. Alkaline seasonings. You know, this the side, you know, I'm prepping everything. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, this is very quick and simple. These is what you call, you know, chickpea burgers. I usually add anything. I can make it with asparagus. I can really add anything to it. You know what I'm saying? Chop it up, blend it. You want to blend it. You don't want to blend it all the way to mush. You just want to blend it, you know, to where it's it's broken down. You know, so you'll see some of the some of the beans is still formed. It's all gonna go with that texture. You know, you want a solid texture. Dump it all in, and I season. I season um season right here, and then when I add the flour, which you're gonna see next. I season some more because the flour, you know, will blend it blends everything out. So you know, I I keep a few seasonings for the end, and that's what you see right here. And this, I don't eat a lot of salt, so keep that in mind. I'm not eating a lot of salt all day. I'm really on a lot of fruits and vegetables, and fasting. So right here is where you're gonna see me pour a nice amount of seasoning. You know, I'm seasoning the taste because I'm not putting in a lot of salt throughout the day. You know, you want to cut that in half. So this is pretty much, you should say, my treat, I guess, when it comes to, like, the seasonings. You 
you know, I got my turmeric. Pretty much, you just you'll see me adding a little more. I kind of already know my measurements. There's really no measurements. It's really a season to taste type thing. Cause these seasonings aren't that strong. You know, they they don't they don't favor in salts. And all I'm doing is mixing everything up. And this is what I was talking about. You know, you're gonna see me add the flour and save that onion powder for last just to top it off with extra, with extra season. And right here, I'm adding enough flour to allow the mixture to cake. You know, I don't put real caking agents in it. I'm just adding this flour so it can cake and so when it hits that oil, it'll fry, you know, the outside layer of fry just enough and everything will stay together. So you're going to see me add quite a bit of flour, high in protein. So if you all, if you want to know, how do I get my protein? The chickpeas is full of protein. The flour is full of pro protein. I'll add sometimes asparagus full of protein. I'll have an avocado salad on the side, full of protein. That's how I like it right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's magic. It's really magic. Every single time you turn in nothing into something. You know what I'm saying paper towels, paper plates on deck. You know, I have to drain. Simple as that. You know what I mean? Grapeseed oil, one of the only oils that handles high temperatures. You're using vegetable oil, canola oil. When they get these high temperatures, they turn to carcinogens. Grapeseed oil can handle upwards to 5,000 degrees. Like I said, this is very simple. So right here, you're gonna see the process of me pretty much just putting the, the uh, burgers together. You know, I'm a I don't cross cross uh I don't cross contaminate. You know what I'm saying? I wash in between. See, simple. I have enough flour, so they're gonna cake. I will roll them up and pretty much pat them out. And, it's really, and that's really it. And on this next step, it's really going to determine how, what consistency and texture you want. I like mine's fried, you know, almost like, um, uh, like, you know, crispy on the outside. You know, I like that texture when I'm eating a burger. So you'll see me fry them a little harder, but it's all up to the consistency you like. And look at that masterpiece. Wow. La. Mm. Taste it right now. I'm going to taste some. Yes, sir. Gone. Gone. And that's what you call an alkaline chickpea burger on spelt bread. Organic spelt bread. Made out of flowers it's a little cane sugar in it you no know, I don't really I'm not really big on sugars but that's the best you don't want you know all these other breads made with all these dextroses all these crazy ingredients less ingredients plant-based ingredients always best my battery literally about to die when I finish oh shit. This is the last one I got. Big burn.